So, dirt bikes. As a kid, I rode a lot of dirt bikes. A tiny bit on the track, but mainly up bush. I started with a Peewee 80, moved on to a KX60, then on to a KX85, and lastly, onto a WR250F. However, it's been a good five plus years since I've ridden my WR250, as life got in the way. In saying that, I always felt some sort of way about those super motard dirt bikes. Growing up, they tickled me fancy. Which brings us to this day. I've purchased a used dirt bike off the marketplace. The goal is to build the dream road registered super motard. And of course, it goes without saying, I'm no mechanic. So, first things first, we're going to take off these dirt bike wheels and put on the new motard wheels. This set came with a bigger rear 44 tooth sprocket, which should be better gearing for riding a dirt bike on the road. But before I got into changing the wheels, I assembled the scissor lift here. This is going to make it a lot easier to work on, as we've got a decent amount to do to this bike. As you may notice, I started building this bike during the build of the shed. Speaking of the shed, far out boys, that ship blew up. Just want to say a massive thanks for the support on that video. There's no better feeling than putting in all that effort to make that video for you guys to actually enjoy it. As some of you would know, I don't make money on most of my videos because I use copyright music and the money goes to the artist. So the only way I'll make money is by taking on sponsorships, maybe a Patreon one day and perhaps selling some merch in the future. Because after all, this content is expensive. But I fucking love making these videos. There's a lot of work in it, although it's goddamn worth it. Anyways, with all that being said, I'd like to talk about today's announcement. As a dude who spends most of his time on the computer inside, either video editing or playing video games, my goal is to get my gamer posture have an ass outside to touch grass by getting out there and challenging myself in the real world aiming to reach my potential learning to build cars building sheds welding collaborating with friends family businesses and goals to push my drifting to higher levels all while filming the ups and downs of my experiences that inevitably arise to create truthful story driven videos and movies in hopes that it inspires you 
to aim for your own potential in life. As I said, I currently do not earn ad revenue from my YouTube videos as I value using quality copyright music instead of overused royalty free music. Your Patreon support will directly go towards this vision, allowing me to go full time into this project, helping to create more high quality story driven videos and hire workers who will board this project along the journey. So with all that being said, if you want to be a part of this, join me over on Patreon. You can get perks such as early access to videos, early access to merch, access to the Patreon community feed where you can partake in community polls and have your input on the channel with what you want to see, as well as your name plastered in the video outros. So if you want more videos from me, more often, this is the best way to make it happen. Pledges small or big all make a big difference and they're all much fucking appreciated. So yeah, that's about it. We've got a uh, we've got a bike to build, don't we? Yeah, let's get back to it. Okay, now back to the build. It was a new day, and it was time to start assembling the new motard wheels. I struggled getting the axle off because it was quite seized, but Willy B came to the rescue. You got it, son! The magic in. So far, so good. Also, just a random disclaimer. This channel is not a how-to channel. After all, I don't have much experience. I'm just having a crack getting in there, trying to figure shit out and see where it takes me. Hey Siri, call Will. Hey Mark, can you give me a hand please to the front wheel? Yeah, as you can see, we've got the fork guards here, and they're extremely close. One side's rubbing on the tyre, so we're going to have to fix that up. It's dangerous. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell, you're my cheek.
How long did you think it was gonna take you? We <laughs> like half a day. rear wheel was assembled and pretty well back on but I was having some issues getting my head around this uh, this chain tool um, which I'm supposed to use on the new chain to break links and press links but luckily one of my neighbors down the road Shane is a motorcycle mechanic and a bloody good fucking bloke he came around to give me a hand with the chain It's just a road tire with fuck off big grooves in it. If you go dirt to road combo, you lose a bit of the road grip. Whereas if you go road, you get road grip. But on dirt, you just stand up because you've got more control when you're standing up. Yeah. So if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, thanks to Shane, the chain was on and was properly adjusted. Both wheels were on as well. And before I started to mess with the appearance, I needed to get a roadworthy certificate by putting on all the road accessories. That way I can legally ride it on the road like a typical motorbike. While I was at it, I changed the front fender to suit the smaller front wheel. So I bought a YZ85 front fender and swapped it over. I 
before I went any further with the build, took it for a test ride and made sure the wheels and chain was all good, which it was. By the way, that bloody red ninja in the background, this is my girlfriend's first motorbike that got stolen two weeks after she bought it. Around this current point in time, we actually ended up retrieving it from the thief who stole it and trashed it. Fuck that cat. The way we found it was pretty unusual, but um, that might be a video for another day. So now that I made sure that the bike ride's fine, it's time to start installing those road accessories, such as indicators, mirrors, and that's about all I needed. Almost done. The rears. Alright, here we go. Did I fuck it? I'm gonna find out. Here we go. Let's go! <laughs> Such a small brake light. Now the front. It's gonna be interesting. Where am I gonna put them? Should be a lot easier. But... Okay. Fronts are done. The moment of truth. Legal now. Oh yeah, I've got one. You say one? I got two, but in bikes, I need one. Everything was road legal. I got the roadworthy check, and it was all good. So now it was time to truly pimp it out. Now I'm going for a black and blue style. I've got an entire black plastic kit, but I'm not going to use it all. I want to give it some kind of a blue fade throughout the black.
the beat to bond the beat. I don't want to be in misery. It's at the pharmacy. Can I not I want to see? I want to see how hard I bleed. When she rips out my fucking heart and turns the pharmacy. When I'm a person, it's a crime. vision I had in my head of this bike it was all starting to come together. Whilst I waited for the Acropovic mid-pipe and exhaust gasket to arrive, I worked on finishing the aesthetics. At last, the build was finally complete. What was once a muddy bike made for going up bush was now cleaned up and built for the road. It was now time to take it out for its final test ride. That's a 10 centimeter high wheelie.
Do you happen to have a motorcycle on this house at all?